Now, where is my asylum? I sought asylum in Sweden and recently my request for asylum has been denied by the Swedish migration authorities who while acknowledging that atheists in Egypt are being persecuted and that they deserve asylum they refuse to acknowledge that I am an atheist despite the strong body of evidence I provided them with. They resorted to absurd arguments going so far as saying that perhaps if they send me back to Egypt I will hide or change my views. Throughout the whole asylum seeking process, which took about 15 months, the Swedish migration authorities were much more concerned with finding an excuse to deny me asylum than to genuinely attempt to ascertain the validity of my claim. And now they are seeking to deport me back to Egypt, which makes them in breach of the UN Refugee Convention and the principle of non refoulement at some point, the Swedish Migration Board said that if I'm able to prove that I had left Islam, I'll be granted asylum. Which made me think, how can I prove that I no longer am Muslim? What is the one thing that no Muslim would ever do under any circumstances? And since essentially my current convictions are the renunciation of my form of faith, there is no better act to demonstrate that than desecrating a copy of the Quran, which is considered the highest form of blasphemy in Islam. And this is what I will do now. And at the end of this video, I will be burning the Quran. I'm aware that what I just did could anger a lot of people and could put my life in danger even here in Europe. But I'd much rather be in danger and free than safe and deprived of my freedom. When faced with a choice between freedom and security, I will choose freedom every single time. One other excuse the Swedish migration authorities are using to deny me asylum is saying that they have no evidence that the authorities back in Egypt are aware of my views. Well, I will save us both the effort of procuring such evidence. This video will be posted to the pages of the Egyptian Interior Ministry, the Egyptian Foreign Ministry and the Egyptian Embassy in Stockholm, making it almost certain that I would be arrested or worse if sent back to Egypt and hence no longer feasible to deport me if Sweden wants to abide by international law that is. This is not an attack on Muslims. My family is Muslim and I have many Muslim friends and I love them. To anti-Muslim bigots, do not rejoice. We are as much against you. To the Egyptian authorities, namely the Egyptian military, the Egyptian police, the Egyptian judiciary and General Abdel Fattah el-Sisi. Fuck you, you regressive fascist idiots, release all prisoners of conscience. And to the Swedish Migration Board, here is your proof.
There is no going back from this. There is no hiding. There is no changing it. Now, where is my asylum? I'll, I'll have to say that they're not converting to Christianity because suddenly they saw the light, hallelujah. I'll have to say that they're doing what they feel is best for them to increase their odds of being able to stay as refugees in Germany.